Okay. So let's start today's problem. So today's problem, first problem is hydrogenation of uh, aniline to produce cyclohexyl amine. So the hydrogenation of aniline produces cyclohexyl amine in continuous third tank reactor according to the following reaction. The reaction is aniline plus three hydrogen gives cyclohexyl amine. To simulate the aniline hydrogenation process using S pen plus, we develop the process flow diagram as exhibited in figure. So this is the process flow diagram in which aniline is passed through a pump and hydrogen as being gas, it will be passed through a compressor. These two are added to a continuous third tank reactor and from this we are getting one vapor and one liquid stream. Uh, specifications, the reactor model RCSTR operates at 580 PSIA and 248 Fahrenheit and its volume is 1200 feet cube. For the liquid phase reaction, see uh, the sentence, the liquid, it is a liquid phase reaction. So for the liquid phase reaction, the inlet streams have the specifications as shown in table 4.9. So the specifications are given aniline, one stream of aniline that is pure aniline, uh, temperature, pressure and flow rates are given and hydrogen. Uh, for that also temperature, pressure and flow rates are given. It is obvious from the stoichiometry that we need more amount of hydrogen than aniline. So aniline is 150 and compared to uh, aniline, hydrogen is in uh, four times. Uh, molar, flow, molar flow rate is four times to that of aniline. Both the pump and compressor, compressor is isentropic compressor. They have discharged the fluids at 585 PSIA. So from 100 PSIA, it is discharging at 585 PSIA. Data for the Arrhenius law are given as pre-exponential factor value of K, K equal to K naught. So value of K naught is given and activation energy is given. And as it is told that the reaction is liquid phase reaction, then the basis will be on concentration basis will be on molarity. So using CISO property method in the simulation, uh, we have to simulate process. Uh, additionally, it is told that the reaction is first order with respect to both aniline and hydrogen. The re reaction rate constant is defined with respect to aniline. Uh, simulate the process and compute the component mole fraction in liquid product and mainstream. OK, I assume everyone understood the problem. Right? Yes. So uh, how should we solve it? Uh, will any one of you share your screen and do it? I will guide you. Yes, I will. Yes, sir. OK, who will do it? Manish. OK, please go ahead. OK, before doing that, just a minute before doing that, uh, please take the snapshot of the problem statement so it will be useful. This is the first this is the first page. And this is the second page. OK, OK, so let's move ahead. Uh, OK, share your screen. I will guide you how to do it. Screen share. Where is the screen share option? On the top here, if you can see on my screen here, sharing option will be there next to mic. OK, share. OK, thank you. And share your screen, entire screen. It will be useful. Also share system audio. Yeah. It is done. Yeah, visible. Yes. Now, visually, if possible, can you turn on your video also? If it's fine for you. Yes. yes okay, so I will guide you how to solve the problem. I guess you know this is relatively simpler problem than the one we are going to see. Hello. Hello, yes. Is this yeah net problem was there? The screen no, visible? Not. Yes, yes, okay. our screen is visible. Okay. 
So, okay, we have yes. So we have three components: aniline, hydrogen, and cyclohexyl amine. Mm -hmm. So let's first add them. I guess aniline will be available. You will have to find cyclohexyl amine. Hydrogen yes. will be also from here. Just write hydrogen H two yes. And cyclohexyl amine. Go to find option. Click on find. And equals yes, right? Cyclohexyl amine. No space, no space. Cyclohexyl amine. Yes, now find now. Yes. Okay. Uh, add it. Yes, it is added. If you wish, you can rename everything. Aniline is fine. H2 is also fine. So it's cyclo. Okay. CHA, you can write CHA, cyclohexyl amine, CHA. It will be easier. CHA, cyclohexyl amine is fine. Okay. Uh, why it didn't happen? Okay, yeah, it happened. Now, please, next. This property method. Okay, we are supposed to use ideal property method. So just press, uh, just find CSO, SYSO, P0, yes. Yeah. So that is what what does that say? Can you read it? What does that property method say? Yes. CSO zero ideal property. Or, ideal or a Rolls law. Yes. Okay. Now press yes. next. I guess you have to we will now add close it. So just press next. Okay. Binary interaction. Okay. Simulation. Uh, your screen is a bit lagging, at least for me. I think internet is uh, slow. Yeah, that's why it's fine. Now, OK, let's add the proceed. So we have one pump, one compressor oh. and one RCSTR. So first add these three equipments. Compressor, reactor, uh, CSTR. Go to reactor, CS, and add RCSTR. Mm, okay. Yes, you can rename it. Pump B1 as pump. Okay. First, add everything. Okay. So first. Yes. yes. Okay. You will need two inputs for CSTR. Yes. Yes, and two product streams. Yes, aniline. Yes, aniline H two. Hydrogen. Yes. Mm. Fa. It is F a feed of aniline. Feed of aniline. Okay. Feed then of F H. Yes, F H. Okay. Now two outlet streams we need. One. one and yes uh, okay it is added so add yeah, pure and or, yes i don't know which one will be vapor or which one will be liquid but just rename it for now okay we'll check that now later. yes ah uh, yes and now okay. add block names if you wish b1 as pump v2 as compressor and yes, CHTR. Yes, it's fine. Yes. OK, let's now add uh, aniline fluoride, aniline feed conditions. Let's add it. Next. No? Yes. OK, please next. So what is it? Yes, doing aniline. OK, so temperature mm -hmm. is Okay, uh, temperature is no. 95 Fahrenheit. No, feed temperature to pump. It is 95 Fahrenheit. Okay, 95. Yes, 95 Fahrenheit. Be careful with units. Yes, Pretty and sure pressure is, is 100 PSI. 100 PSI A. PSI A, absolute value. It's next to that. Okay, then flow rate, molar flow rate in pounds mole per hour. Yes. 
Yes, it is given as 150. 150. And the feed is 150, 150. And the feed is pure aniline. So pure aniline mole fraction one, no? Mole fraction one. Okay, yes. one thing I, I would like to wait, wait. Here what you can do other thing, if you don't want to add mole fraction, so just add molar fluoride of aniline from here. So it will take, uh, it's fine. This is also correct. But uh, if you don't mm -hmm. want to add both both times, like uh, there you added total flu uh, rate on mole basis and here you are adding mole fraction. If you don't want to do that, you can directly add uh, here on the molar fluoride of any link. So it will take as pure component. OK, now press next. Uh, now we will add. Uh, oh, yeah. So uh, here, if we don't add here, it will be OK if we add here molar fluoride. Yes, let's do that for hydrogen in that way. Hydrogen is also pure okay. component. OK, next. Yes, please next. The yeah, temperature is. 12, yes, 12. temperature is 12 Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Pressure is 100 PSI. Pressure is 100 PSI. OK, uh, okay. now flow. hydrogen fluoride is 600. So here first change the unit. Two molar two pound moles per hour. Yes, yes. and as hydrogen fluoride as 600. Directly at 600 for hydrogen, yes. So see, your input is complete for this thing, right? Yes. So you don't need to add two yes. times. That is also correct. Mm -hmm. This is also correct. Now okay. let's press next. I guess we will require pump condition. Pump. Compressor. Okay. Compressor. OK, what is isentropic compressor? What does that word isentropic mean? Entropy will be. Uh, entropy constant, will be. Entropy is remaining constant. constant. Is that ideal constant. or uh, real case? Yeah. Ideal. OK, you are in which year? Are you from chemical engineering background or some other background? Uh, actually, I did a uh, bit in chemical technology, but uh, I did that in 2020. OK. Yes. So currently, where are you? Uh, I'm working. Oh, great. But not in uh, chemical uh, process engineering. That's why I am a little okay. bit slow in this process. No, no, it's not about slow or fast. I just want to know. Yes. Isentropic, you have added. OK, so yes. now press next. Why is it still showing yeah. yellow sign? It's not uh, red. No? We have to add uh, something. Yes. Another. What do we need to add? Discharge pressure or uh, we need to add some information regarding pressure. Yes, yes. So in question, what is given to us? Discharge the fluid at 585. Both, so discharge both the pump and compressor at, have discharged the fluids at 585 PSI A. So just add yes. discharge pressure as 585 PSI A. Yes. Yes. Now press next. Similar case for pump also. Uh, pressure. Don't change anything. Just add pressure as OK. No, this is CSTR. Let's first CSTR. add. Yeah, let's first add input for pump. Can you select okay. pump and add? Yes. The yes, input pump. Same inputs 585 PSIA discharge pressure. Yes, discharge pressure 585. This P. Yes, I yes. Okay, okay now press next. We will add reactor. Yeah. Okay. So what is tool? First add temperature and pressure. So reactor model operates at 580 PSIA and 248 Fahrenheit. Um, so let's add temperature 248. 240. Yes. 248 PSIA. Fahrenheit. PSIA. Okay. No, it's Fahrenheit now. Yes. Pressure oh, sorry. 248 a... PSIA. Yeah, I'm sorry. And pressure is 580 PSIA. Five. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, um, 
so so this is the way i added uh sorry one from here and one from here so it it didn't so error for me i guess that is some issue with the way you have added the second stream yes okay i will stop sharing my screen okay you can i guess share directly yeah okay I guess everyone else is following who joined late. This is the example for production of cyclohexyl amine from hydrogenation of aniline. Ah, uh, your screen is not. Yeah, yeah, yes, computer internet is not working. Okay, so what should we do? Should we wait for a minute? Yes, yes. I will turn on another. Okay, okay. Do it comfortably. I am just resetting my screen to for those who joined late and want to see the problem. So this is the problem statement for the production of cyclohexyl amine from aniline and hydrogen, for which flocity is given. Uh, aniline and hydrogen aniline in liquid phase hydrogen in vapor phase are added to a continuous star tank reactor reactor is occurring in liquid phase and reactor conditions are given and from reactor one vapor stream and one liquid stream is expected as hydrogen it will never be in liquid phase so we will have two outlet streams and for this kinetics is given pre exponential factor and activation energy so this was the problem Okay, let us know. Uh, money, so you can do it. Yes, sir. Okay. Let me know. Okay, I will stop sharing my screen. Okay, I'm I'm doing that. Are you facing some issues? Yes, sir. I'm reconnecting. Yeah. Okay. It's done. Yeah. The screen is not visible. Yes. 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 I have to share it again. Yes. It is. Okay. Okay. Next. We have to change this input. 
Yes, just try it in some another way. Delete this else stream. Oh. Delete. Can no. can we see? Can we see his CSTR input once? The CSTR input, yes. Wait. Yes. Uh, can you change the valid phases in liquid and vapor? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, go ahead. What are you getting? Let's see. Next. Who do streams? Yes, so. V. V is vapor. Product. It is product yes. stream. Two, you have to choose the phase. So V is vapor phase. And okay. L is liquid L is phase. Okay, so we can do it. Oh, okay, now add kinetics. Go to kinetics. Okay, to add new. Reaction. New, choose new. Yes. R1. Uh, it is which kind of reaction? From problem statement. It's a power law. Right. Yes, because we have equations. Yes, it's a power law. You are given pre exponential factor activation energy. So yes. it's yes. now press next. Next. So we will add we will be adding now. Okay. It worked for me with liquid phase only. Why did you require vapor liquid? Uh, yeah, it is vapor liquid. Yeah, it is vapor liquid. Okay, I'm sorry. It is vapor liquid. Because two phases are there. Reaction is in liquid phase. Okay. Uh, now press next. Yes, new. It is lagging. It is lagging. It is lagging. Yeah. Yeah. Now add aniline, hydrogen. Yeah. Now it's working. Aniline, hydrogen, and cyclohexyl amide. Yes. We have to add the coefficient also, no? Yes. What will be the coefficients? Uh, since uh, oh sorry H two three. Aniline is. Aniline is one mole and uh, hydrogen is three moles, no? Yes. So what yeah. will be the coefficients? Minus one, minus three, four minus one, reactant three. and minus one uh, pro, uh, positive one four product. Okay, what is told? Yeah. The reaction is first order with respect to uh, aniline and hydrogen. So what should we add in exponent? One in aniline and one in hydrogen. Okay. Yes, if it was uh, it is, yeah, say first order in, with both reactants. Yeah, let's say if it was told that it is first order with respect to aniline only, then we will not be adding anything for hydrogen. Okay. We will uh, just uh, left that. Uh, yes, we will we would have left that part. Yes. Okay. okay. Now, please next. So our input is given. Now we need to add kinetics. Just yes. please next. Reacting phase is uh, vapor and liquid. Uh, can you can you turn off your video if it's fine because your screen is lagging? Yes, yes, yes. I think that's why. Hmm. Okay, right. okay, here the reacting phase is in, in question. It is liquid phase reaction. So here we should keep uh, reacting phase as liquid. Okay. Okay, and let's add value of K as base. phi e phi into 10 is to phi. So add phi e phi in place of K. What phi e phi? Or add the way you want phi into 10 is to phi. So we write e, it as phi e phi. So it takes at phi into 10 is to phi. Okay, e phi. Five and Five e plus five, no. Just write five. It will take positive value. Yes. Okay. Anyway. So this is five into ten is to five. Yes. Five. Okay. okay. N is we are not given any specification about N, so we will not touch that. Uh, activation energy is twenty thousand. Yes, BTU per mole. Twenty thousand British thermal unit per pound moles. So add. Okay, let's change the unit first. BTU per hour, BTU per pound mole. Sorry. Yes. Yes, BTU per pound mole. It is twenty thousand. Yes, yes, and twenty thousand. Yes. T zero is also not specified. 
So we will not touch that input and CI basis. It is told as molarity. So I guess we are done with our input. Okay, so now let's run the simulation. And see what is the amount of uh, aniline? Uh, what is the amount of cyclohexyl amine we are getting? Just press OK. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's 10. Now, can we check what? OK, before checking the result, what can we expect in vapor stream? What can we expect? Unreacted yes. hydrogen, right? Yes. Maximum amount of hydrogen because it won't be converted into liquid phase. OK, let's check what are the what is the mole fraction that you are getting? OK. Yes. Uh, OK, so you are getting 98% hydrogen in vapor phase that is unreacted. And yes. in liquid phase, you are getting 93, 91% cyclohexylamine. Just give me a minute and let me check with my results. And I will let you know. So I am getting a mole fraction of 91%. Yeah, this is correct. Okay. Okay, I have a question. We are getting. Okay, can you go to uh, mass flow rate? I just want to compare it with respect to mass flow rate. Okay. Six zero six three. So we KG are seeing aniline was six three three six kg per hour, and uh, five hundred almost five hundred kg per hour is unreacted. Yes. Right. So can we do something? Can we play with some parameters and can we increase this uh, mole fraction of from 91 to say 95 percent? Can we do that? Yes, obviously we can do that. Uh, how can we do that? Can we perform sensitivity analysis? Yes, versus? very good. Yes, very good. Let's try it. Let's perform sensitivity analysis on which parameters uh, on which reactor parameter. OK, let's first go to sensitivity. Pressure, or pressure. pressure. Yeah, please let's play with. Uh, OK, who told pressure? Me only. Harsil told OK. Let's play with pressure. OK. I was suggesting temperature first. OK, go to new. Yes. Uh, press next. New. Yes. OK, so go to uh, this below. Go below. Variable. Yes. So which type of variable? Choose block variable. Block variable. Because we are varying reactor conditions. That's why block variable. Of yes. which block? CSTR block. CSTR. Which variable? variable. Uh, what what do you want to do? Temperature or pressure? Okay, let's do pressure. Pressure. Hasil, are you doing pressure? Uh, yes. So let's let's do temperature. He will tell us the results of pressure and we will tell him the results of temperature. Okay, let's do temperature. This yes. tem temperature in Fahrenheit. Unit. Change the unit to Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. OK, now we don't know what will be the value. Of, uh, we don't know what should be the value of it should be less than 248 or greater than 248. We don't know. So let's uh, hmm. keep our starting Smart. point from uh, what should we do? 200 to 500, 600, 200 to 600. Okay. Uh, with increment of, of uh, point. No, let's not give that. Give the increment of five Fahrenheit. Five, okay. Five. Okay. Good is complete. Uh, now press next. Define. Yes. Now you have to define. What do we want to define? Uh, what do you want that to define? Mold fraction. Mole fraction of product or uh, mole fraction of amine. cyclohexyl amine. Okay, so press new. C Give some name, whatever you want to. 
then uh, what kind of variable is that? Stream variable, right? Mm. So just choose stream. Yes. Go to that type. So, okay. What stream do we want to variable. see? Okay, stream variable. Oh. Yeah, yeah, stream variable. Of which stream? Uh, liquid stream. L stream. L stream, liquid. right? Yes, it's liquid. Sorry. Liquid yeah, stream. yeah, it's fine. Substream mix. Variable. Do it comfortably. L stream. Mole fraction. No? Wait, wait, uh, your, mole... your screen is lagging. Just a minute. Yeah, now choose here which variable mole fraction. Mole fraction is not there here. Mole flow. Uh, no, mole, mole fraction should be there. OK, I guess from type only you will have to choose mole fraction then. OK, In type only because we already yes. defined it is a yeah. Now it's fine. Mole fraction. Of yes, complete. CH. Com OK, yes. Now go to, I, I suggest you to change the variable name to something else because there are two yes. CHs, so it will be confusing. Just give something else. Whatever you feel is correct. Uh, the CHA variable. Okay, CHA V. CHA V. Okay, we are. It's fine. Yes. Now go to tabulate. Tabulate uh, fill variable. I guess do it. OK, now then, reset your now reset your simulation first and then run it. Yes. Raise OK. Now run it. You need to run it. Yes. And then go to it will take some time, I guess. Yeah, OK, now go to S1 results. Result. No, not there. Uh, I want to see sensitivity results. Yes. OK. Go to sensitivity. Sensitivity, yeah, okay. yeah, there only there. Only. Yes. So what is happening? Mm -hmm. in With increasing temperature. Uh, go below. Yeah. So with increasing temperature, we are increasing the yeah, go below. What is the maximum concentration? It is in degrees Celsius. How to change? Yeah, the it's. Uh, I guess go to on that. No, uh, that won't work. Go to yeah. Go, go to that units option on top and change to my change to uh, British units. I guess it will show it in Fahrenheit. On top, if metric. you can see. No, not metric. Uh, English units. Okay, English unit. Okay. I guess it will show up in Fahrenheit. No, it's, it's not. not showing. OK, leave it then. It's fine. We'll have to run again. We'll have to run again after changing the units. OK, it's okay. fine. Leave it. It's fine. Leave it. Yeah. It's so changed. let's okay. see what are the. OK, so see what are we observe? What are we getting? Go below. Yes, at 248 Fahrenheit, we are getting 91 percent mole fry, 0.91. Yes. OK, we are getting maximum amount. Go below, go to land. What are you getting? 987, 98. No. OK, 0.9 is decreasing. Okay. 510. OK, so 510 is, is the point that we are give, it is giving us 98.38 mole fraction of uh, this component, cyclohexyl amount. Uh, OK, Harsil, can you tell us what is the pressure that at which you are getting maximum? Uh, uh, while doing pressure, uh, I have an error. So okay. I'm trying to uh, uh, change this variable limit for start point and end point of the pressure. OK, earlier it was 500 to 600, but the uh, unit is bar. By default, I cannot change the unit. Yes, 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 yes. So, OK, uh, whatever he gets from pressure. So uh, what should we do? Should we change pressure or should we change temperature? Ideally, what should we do? We there will be, be there will be 100 factors to consider. Yes. 
we should on an initial level we should go with temperature because it is easy to change temperature than to change pressure it is easy to change temperature than changing pressure okay so i guess this problem is clear to everyone so from this problem we learn first thing how to simulate the cyclohexyl amine unit uh, and a small part of sensitivity analysis to increase the uh, mole fraction of cyclohexyl amine in product stream uh, can you do it do it with pressure i just want to see what is the pressure we are getting yes uh, it's 0.97 at mole fraction we are required around 3000 to 4000 psi pressure so it is not feasible right yes if we think that uh, earlier at uh, 580 psi and 248 fahrenheit temperature we were getting 91 approximately 91 mole fraction of uh, cyclohexyl amine and by increasing pressure to it was 580 and you are saying 3000 psi so we so can the consider maximum uh, maximum, con uh, yes. maximum conversion is at 1600 psi after that the fraction is reducing mole fraction yes. is reducing. So, okay so from 600 to 1600 so we need to give additional 1000 psi a pressure there is one option and second option is we need to increase our temperature from 248 fahrenheit to uh, what was that value 510 or 510 uh, sir actually we are Yes. Uh, I think yes, maximum correct. 98.8%. 98.8. Yeah, that is 460. 450. 450. So we just yeah, need to increase 250 to 450. 2, yeah. 280 to, to, sorry, 250 to 450. Let's say 500, 250 to 500. So uh, increase in temperature is more practicable, practical practically easy to do then increase in pressure. OK, so I guess this problem is clear to everyone. So can we move ahead? Yes. Yes. Uh, anyone else who is facing the issue while solving the problem? I don't know how many of you are solving right now with me. OK, uh, let's Take uh, the next. One, one yes. question. Yes, I So we have the CSTR is operated at 248 Fahrenheit. Yes. And the feed temperature is of pump outlet of NLE yes. feed is 103 Fahrenheit. Yes. And so the we hydrogen can... com compression yes. outlet is 443 uh, Fahrenheit. Yes. So we have assumed that the composite temperature is. Yes. That's what the CSTR is operating? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, can we move ahead? Okay, let's take the next problem. Uh, yes, yes, I will share my screen. Okay. So, uh, just a minute. So next problem. So this is the problem for separation of acetic acid and water. So I will read out the problem. The problem says that process flow diagram for a typical azeotropic distillation process is shown in figure. The technique involves separating close boiling components, acetic acid and water by adding a third component, vinyl acetate, called an entrainer, uh, to form a minimum boiling azeotrope which carries the water overhead and leaves the dry product acetic acid in bottom. The overhead vapor is condensed and then separated in the decanter into two liquid phases, the organic phase and the aqueous phase. So we have acetic acid, water and uh, vinyl acetate. Uh, the boiling point of water we all know that is 100 degrees Celsius and boiling point of acetic acid is 118 degrees Celsius. So that is a close boiling. That is the boiling point of both these components are closed. So uh, it is not feasible to do it with uh, simple distillation. I will be coming to azeotrope part. Actually, this is not 
Okay, let me first complete the problem statement. So this is the flow state where we are adding vinyl acetate and the mixture of acetic acid and water into a distillation column. From bottoms of the distillation column, we are getting acetic acid and from top we are getting mixture of assuming uh, mixture of vinyl acetate and water. And to separate these two, we are using decanter. That is a density based separation to separate vinyl acetate and water. The feed stream namely feed enters about the 15th stage of the azeotropic distillation column at 330 Fahrenheit and 90 PSIA in addition to the flow rates shown in table. So here acetic acid and water flow rates are given and temperature pressure condition and the feed tray location is given for acetic acid water. The entrainer vinyl acetate with the flow rate of 455 power moles per hour enters the 12th stage of column at 200 Fahrenheit and 100 PSIA. The isotropic column has the following specification. We are given given total number of stage, condenser type, valid phases, reflux ratio, bottoms rate, condenser pressure, column pressure drop, key components in the second liquid phase. Why do we need this? Because we are giving vapor liquid liquid as three phases. That's why we need to add key component and stages to be tested for two liquid phases. And decanter, pressure, temperature and key components are given. So using NRTL uh, RK thermodynamic model, simulate the process to compute the uh, component wise product flow rate. OK, I assume first you understood the problem. What are we doing? Okay, someone please tell me in brief, what are we doing? Just you have to explain me what I told you. Anyone? Okay, I assume you know, none of you understood the problem statement. We have acetic acid and water. That is a close boiling mixture. Acetic acid boils at 118 and water boils at 100, 100 degrees Celsius. So to separate them using a normal distillation, it will be difficult because the boiling point is very close. Both, both the components are very close boiling point. So for that, so for the ease of the separation, we are adding a third component that is vinyl acetate. So we have one pure stream containing vinyl acetate and one another stream containing mixture of acetic acid and water. So according to the problem statement, what should happen from the bottom of the mixture, bottom of the distillation column, we should get 100%, let's not say 100%, maximum amount of acetic acid. And from top, uh, vinyl acetate and acetic acid mixture should be, uh, vinyl acetate and water mixer should be uh, present from the top. Now, to separate vinyl acetate and acid, vinyl acetate and water as vinyl acetate we need to reuse it as entrainer so to separate them we are using a density based separation that is using decanter so from there we are getting uh, one stream as vinyl acetate that we will be giving as uh, we will be recycling it into the uh, distillation column and one stream of water okay so i have a question here okay first thing Acetic acid and water, they actually do not form a azeotrope. They don't form azeotrope, but as their boiling point is very close to each other, it is very difficult to separate them using normal distillation. If we want to do that, we need high number of trays and higher of energy duty. So instead of doing that, we are adding a component, vinyl acetate, that breaks the interaction between acetic acid and water. So interaction between water and vinyl acetate are more than interaction between uh, acetic acid and water. So we separate acetic acid and we separate vinyl acetate and water. So I have a question here. Uh, I am going a bit. I am. Uh, we are. We are going to discuss something else. So can anyone tell me what is the difference between azeotropic distillation and extractive distillation? I am sure you know these terms. Azeotropic distillation and extractive oh. distillation. Yes, so can anyone tell Azeotropic. me what is? Yes, please. In azeotropic distillation, we play with pressure, whereas in azeotropic extraction, we add a different, uh, add a third component which has a good uh, interactivity with uh, some, with uh, the one of the components of the two, and it no, mixes with the, it. And you can no, in azeotropic, 
in azeotropic distillation also we need a third component to break the azeotrope distillation so in azeotropic distillation we form a constant boiling azeotrope while in extractive distillation we form a extracted so we basically form a the separation component while in azeotropic is uh, extracted from the as a top product while in uh, extractive is extracted as a bottom product and it is it is into a stepper the two components are separate Okay, I have a question for you, Vishnu. Uh, if I have a mixture of ethanol and water, so what kind of distillation will it be considered? Isotropic or extractive? You are right. Whatever you told, you are right. Water. Uh, ethanol uh, and water. I want to separate ethanol water. Okay. Someone told isotropic. Uh, why not uh, extractive? Because in both cases, what you are doing, you have something, you are adding a third component, and you are separating one component from uh, two of them. So what is the difference? It's just basic difference. I already told in extractive distillation, no isotrope is formed, but we just need a third component to uh, for ease of separation because of uh, uh, because of nearly. Uh, see similar boiling point. Let's check on Google if acetic acid water forms azeotrope or not. Acetic acid and water azeotrope. They does not form. This is the research paper. So see what they tell. They does not form an azeotrope. Where did it go? Although acetic acid and water does not form azeotrope, but using simple distillation to separate these two components is not practical. The reason is because the system has tangent pinch point on the pure water, and thus it is more customary in industry to use a antenna via heterogeneous azeotropic distillation column system for the separation. In this study, a suitable antenna is selected for three candidates acetates through rigorous steady state simulation of the system. Okay, so is the difference in actually azeotropic in actually the extractive distillation uh, there is no azeotrope forming but for isop separation we need we add some third component okay so now let's solve the problem uh, okay i will just keep this screen open so please take this screen screenshot of the problem statement first this is the first page What time is it? This seven. Okay. So this is the first page. I I am moving ahead, and this is the second page. So with the conditions of both the equipments. Okay. So. Okay. Who will solve this problem? Uh, who will solve this problem? Anyone? I have already solved, so it won't be useful for me if I'm resolving it. It will be useful for any one of you who is trying to do it by your own. Vakas, can you do it? I will guide you. I don't have my laptop at me at the moment. Okay. Anyone else other than him? I guess Vaishnav is also not having his laptop. No, uh, no. I actually have my laptop. My subscription is somewhere screwed, so I don't know what happened. Okay. I I registered a complaint, but they haven't yet figured it out. So by tomorrow, possibly I'll get. I tried to go and. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, you are using. I sorry. I have complained to IIT Madras for regarding this issue, but they haven't, you know, yet solved my issue. No, they won't help. It is IIT Guwahati's issue because license is provided by IIT Guwahati. Okay, okay. You need to, I guess, you need to drop an email to Sir, I guess, because this this S N course it's taught by IIT Guwahati. So I I assume no. that all the uh, licenses that those are provided to you, those are from IIT Guwahati. Department of Chemical Engineering, not IIT Madras. 
Okay, but uh, sir, can you share the email? Uh, sir's email. I I will have to check. Wait. Or, uh, I have it. Wait. Mm. Uh, I guess it's BIR. No matches. Yeah, this is the mail ID. This p dot saha at the rate iit g dot ac dot in. Thank you, okay. sir. Okay. So, okay, uh, I am back to my question. Who is going to solve this? I can solve this, but it won't be useful for me. Anyone? Any one of you? Manish, can you would you like to do that again or okay okay if it's fine for you yes 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 okay just the problem is internet <laughs> okay that's why I was waiting if someone else can do okay I guess third problem also you are going to solve because that is more interesting than this one today number is very low why is there any some meet some going on in colleges or what is it's is there something else and some is going on uh, yesterday's lecture actually got cancelled so a lot of people are like uh, today also maybe got cancelled and there is okay. one lecture conducted by Sah sahasar on 4th april so that's also another okay 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 So can you show the problem statement once again? Yes, okay, I will show that. So this is the uh, diagram. Uh, and this is the conditions for uh, distribution column and decanter. Okay. Okay, so Please move it. Yes. I have some dynamic problems also, but I don't know if it will be useful for you or not. OK, uh, let's. Yes. Um, new. OK, save it and. Okay. okay, so we have three component acetic acid, water, and vinyl acetate. I guess it won't, you will have to go to find option. No, I don't. Go to find. What if uh, we directly enter the chemicals formula? Uh, I guess it will work, but uh, something similar with that should not be there. Acetic acid. Yes. Yes, acetic acid is there. Second is water. Yes, second is water. Water you can directly add. Yes. So, so see here you can see uh, vinyl acetate. You will go to find. You will have to go to find option and write vinyl acetate. Yes. Okay. Rename it AA and yes, BA. Okay, so see you can see C2H4O2 slash one. So this is something different. I guess you can add from here direct component name. But alias won't it won't work all time. Okay, next place okay. next. Okay. So what property method we are told is we are told to use NRTL RK property method.
Why it's an RDL RK? I'm not asking which why this property method, but why NRTL and why RK combined? Liquid phase is obviously not a, uh, what should we say? Not an ideal phase, right? But here in this case, vapor phase is also not ideal. That's why we are using RK equation of state for vapor phase, because it's three phase vapor, liquid, liquid. Okay, please next. Estimate Binary using, language. yeah, just click on that estimate using Unifac and run it. It's fine if you don't do it also. Okay, let's do it. Hmm. Okay, you yeah. know. Okay, just just wait for a minute, please. Uh, just give me a minute. Um, I guess I have not done that using estimate using the network. OK, let's see what happens. Uh, then go ahead. We may get some different result because of this. OK, uh, move ahead. OK, so we need to add fluid. So in fluid, OK, we have one red, 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 red. column. Where is that written? Yes, red frag column. So one add one red frag unit. Yes. And one decanter. Decanter. No decanter will be in. Yes. Okay, now add two two, two feed streams. How to separate this uh, feed stream like if we Wait, I'll say, should I share my screen to, and show you? No, it is. Uh, you just need to uh, right. No, not right click that. I will show you. Let's first solve this problem. I will show you how to do it. Then go to now add one distillate liquid distillate. Yes. Even if it's not told that it's liquid distillate, we are giving something to decant, so it should be liquid, right? Yes, and we need two, two outlets from decanter. E -E, acetic acid, yes. It's two. Let's rename everything. This one is, we don't know which will be water reach, but just give the names W reach and VA reach. VA reach, yes. Uh, we have two feed streams, one VA and one. Yes. Red frack. Yes. We have two feed streams. VA, is VA and one is feed. OK, so flow seat is ready. So let's place next. VA input, yeah, feed input. Feed input, so OK. So feed is uh, at. Just three thirty Fahrenheit. Three thirty Fahrenheit and ninety psi. Three thirty Fahrenheit and acetic. Okay. Now we are given given individual flow rate of acetic acid and water in pound moles per hour. Acetic, acetic acid is, acid is 2700, correct. And water is 500. 500. Okay. Now, press okay, next. next. VA input. Okay, so vinyl acetate is 
200 Fahrenheit. Where it is given? Okay, on next sheet. Yes, on the last sheet it 200 is given. Two hundred Fahrenheit. Got it. Two hundred Fahrenheit and hundred PSI. Yes. Hundred PSI. E. Yes. And uh, fluoride is four fifty five. Pound moles per hour. Let's not add there. Let's add there only in on right hand side because it's only one. If you add here, it will be okay, na? No, but you will have to then add their uh, mole fraction. Yes, one right. So let's add there only. We also correct, but why do you need to why do we need to add two? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I got. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, yes, yes.
Okay. Decanter. So here, yes, decanter pressure is given as 50 psi. And temperature is 110 degrees Celsius. And here also key component in second liquid phase is water. Yes, I guess input is complete. Yes, required input complete. So hmm. now let's run it and see what are we getting. Stream results, yes. Result summary, yeah, result summary. Yes, there streams. Okay, so let's first check uh, acetic acid stream, AA stream. A stream, what is the amount of? Um, let's first check mole fraction. Mole fraction, mole fraction, okay. Nine, mass fraction. Nine, nine. And mass flow rate, can you show me the mass flow rate? That is also fine, okay. So wait, wait, wait. you can see, no, that is fine, that is fine. That is fine. Go to mass flow rate. I just want to see mass flow rate. Yeah. So you can see that feed we had six, seven, three, five, four, six point three, and uh, in bottoms we are getting seven two zero five nine, and little amount of water and negligible, almost zero of vinyl acetate, right? And from yeah. top we are getting additional some acetic acid is going in top, then water maximum amount of water is going in. Out of 4085, 3639 is going in top and 100% acetate is in top. Then we send this distillate part that is containing acetic acid water and vinyl acetate to decanter. And from decanter, there is one stream that is VA reach. There we are getting 17466.4 vinyl acetate. Yes, one seven four six six and one seven seven six six six. Yes, and the other water rich stream we are getting three one eight four maximum amount of almost maximum amount of water. But water is a problem, right? You can see that still some amount of water is going in bottoms, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we understood this problem, right? From bottom we are getting maximum amount of acetic acid. Can we do sensitivity and check what can we can we do something further to increase amount of acetic acid in bottoms? Currently, what is the mass fraction? Let's not check mass fraction. What is the mole fraction? I guess it was 98. 97.97. 97.97. Okay, let's do sensitivity analysis. With which parameter should we do it? With feed temperature? I guess. Uh, okay, let's go. What what we can do? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm stopping you. Can you go to results of distillation column? Uh, can you go to distillation column and yes, there sir. show me the? Blocks. Red thread. Yes. Profiles. Profiles. I want to see the profiles. Okay. Can we plot it? Yes, yes, yes. This is what I want to see. Can you plot uh, on the top? What are the options? Temperature then? Uh, composition. Can you plot composition? Composition of acetic acid? No, it won't work actually. Composition won't work. Uh, wait, wait. Not composition. I'm sorry. Uh, not composition. Pressure won't work um, okay let's go with composition i'm sorry let's go with composition i just want to see how it's varying is it remaining constant with some part composition composition okay. composition of acetic acid or all three choose all three choose all select all and press okay More. it's fine it's fine don't, don't, change, don't, don't change anything, just press OK. 
okay so here we are getting straight line this is the problem so these number of stages want are not useful because nothing is happening here this from 15 to 47 you can see that concentration profile is flat for all three and then it is suddenly decreasing near uh, this top or bottom section okay okay let's perform sensitivity analysis i guess 55 stages are not required then pd is also 12 and 13 okay uh, let's do sensitivity analysis i want to play with first uh, number of stages uh, sensitivity is yes. did you understand what i was trying to say with that flat concentration profile yes yes what did you understand from that nothing is happening right that's why no composition is right. changing that uh, between parts so can we remove that number of decimal that in between number of trays those 10 or 15 let's check go to new uh variable block variable i want to see effect of number of trays a uh, block variable block red flag block red flag of which case is there any number of trays available can you see i am not sure from where ah uh, your screen it's stuck wait i will also check on my system you just want to see uh, yes it's end stage end stage is there okay yeah just see end stage is there or not yeah harshil told it's there yeah go to that option variable yes yes okay what do we have to select n from n go to n first alphabet n n stage yes n stage is n element what was that written sorry uh, can you just show it what was written i just want specified. to read specified specified number of stages, stages including remolar and condenser and taste fine okay so let's vary it from uh, 10 to 50 10 to 60 10 to 60 that's because no uh, no not 10 sorry because our pit stage location is 12 and 15 so let's vary from 16 to 60 16 or 17 to 60 it will throw an error yes uh, with increment of 1 obviously yes uh, now press next we will be defining that uh, same variable Uh, mole fraction of acetic acid. A A V A R. Just write. Okay, okay. M F. Write write whatever is comfortable. A A V. Just write B. So we will understand its variable. Okay. Uh, it is stream variable. Okay. So from here, just choose mole fraction or mass fraction. Mole fraction. Choose mole fraction. of stream which stream e a stream of component acetic acid yes now go to tablet and just do however Next. you want to see it okay input is done na no? yes required input completed yes so reset your simulation first and then run it simulation error it's fine it it will be because of number of trees only go to results of sensitivity part
to not there. Yeah, S1 is having error because of some number of stages. Okay, 16 is not showing any value. Go below. Go below. Why? Okay, from 55 only it is showing the value. This strange. Where can we uh, access that graph again? Uh, here only go to graph. Okay, that value, that graph. Okay, here I guess is. minimum number of stages required will be 55. I don't know. I don't understand why it's not showing any value. What is the error? Can we check here in status? Uh, the minimum number stages is 55 theoretically. Yeah, okay. that's, that's why. Fine. That's why. But That's also why. at 55, uh, the water fraction is 0 0.02, which is same only, I guess. Yeah, it will be same. Okay, because, minimum 55 uh, stages are required only. So we can't play with number of stages. It so won't help. Instead of uh, sensitivity analysis, I use the design specification block. Yes, and what did you vary? The number of stages only. But, but the you don't initial have it. Yeah, initial and final value is the same only. Okay, so let's do one thing. Uh, keep this okay inactive act inactivities and let's go for new analysis. Okay, so here minimum 55 stages are required. Choose new. Yeah, there only click new H2. So what can we play with in distillation column? We have number of stages that we can't play with. Then okay, we can play with reflex ratio, but I'm not sure if it will work or not. Uh, block variable of distillation column. Temperature pressure will not work, I guess. Okay, let's play with uh, reflex ratio. I just want to see what is happening. Reflex ratio, go to R, alphabet R and C somewhere reflex ratio is given. No. This RB bot, RB reaction, RB top. Wait, wait, factor used for determining the approximate flow rate. Uh, can you go to RB top? What was that RB top? Factor used for determining the approximate flow model at the top of the column when using. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, it should be there. R plug is not there. Okay. Uh, let's do one thing. Uh, it is not though practical, but uh, if you can find reflex ratio. No, R has it's not this. there. Okay. So can we, okay, before doing that, before playing with ref, uh, reboiler duty, can we play with uh, feed stage location? Uh, if, can you go to F option, alphabet F? Feed stage, yes. Feed, feed stage. stage. Feed stage which, of, uh, which, which feed? Stage? Let's wait, FD or feed only. Uh, okay, feed only, feed. Feed tree location also plays an important role. I am I am surprised why reflex ratio is not there. Okay, uh, for uh, it is there. It, uh, reflex okay. ratio is there. Uh, under which option? Mole RR block variable. Okay, molar reflex ratio. Okay, okay, okay. Go to M. Okay, I want to do this also feed stage. Okay, let's first do this reflex ratio part. Then let's play with feed stage location. Mole R. Yeah, mole R. R, R. Yes, mole R. R. Mole specified yes, molar process. So yes, thank you. And let's change it from 0 0.5 to uh, 0 0.5 to 10. <clears throat> 0 0.5 to 10. In interval of 0 0.5. Increment of 0 0.5. Define. Okay, define. Let's define. Uh, okay, give any name you want to give. Okay, AV. So it's a stream variable. AAV. Okay, stream variable of uh, which stream? 
मूल फ्रैक्शन या सॉरी मूल फ्रैक्शन यस मूल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ पिच स्ट्रीम ए स्ट्रीम ऑफ कंपोनेंट एसिटिक एसिड टेबुलेट वे यू वांट टू रीसेट ना यस रीसेट फर्स्ट एंड देन यू नीड I guess it will show some error. It... Yeah, expected. Yes, expected. So let's see what is the reflex. So I I assume minimum is not four. No, minimum is four. But I think <laughs> there is some error with our uh, what we are trying to find because uh, already the water content in acetic acid is zero point zero two mole fraction. Okay. So yeah. That's it why it's not, not working. Yeah, see, it's not changing. Even 98 error while executing as to some rows completed with completed with errors. Okay, can you just show me the results? I just want to see it. Go below. Below, below. Okay. So it's not used. It's not helping. This part is also not helping. So let's try one last thing. Let's play with uh, this. This you can see errors is written. So these are the errors. So I just want to try one more thing. Uh, let's play with uh, feed tray location. Is that matters? Okay. Feed tray location. New. Can we add? Uh, Can we add two variables at a time? Yes, we can add. Okay, go to yes block variable of block uh, eight frac. Variable is feed stage. Feed stage. Yes, there only feed stage. Of what is feed stage? Feed stage. And okay. change it from ah uh, seven. This is feed, right? This year twelfth. Okay, let's give one two. No, let's give two two for fifty four. Fifty. Two two fifty four. Two two. It will throw some error. Obviously, it will throw some error. Ah, uh, two two fifty four. Yes. Ah, uh, ah, uh, with uh, yeah. I want to do one more thing. Can you go to new here only, and can we add one more variable here? Here only new. Yes. Yes. I want to vary two variables at same time. Yes. Uh, type uh, feed variable. Uh, sorry, block variable. I'm sorry, block variable of uh, red of uh, distillation red frac of uh, variable is feed stage. And here I want to play with uh, uh, this vanilla acid. Vanilla acid. Same two two fifty four. Two fifty four, with increment of one. Did you understand what we did? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's press next. Uh, variable new. Give some value a b three or something. Streams of stream, yes. Of, of component A, A, yes. Tabulate. I guess we will need. Uh, okay. But how will we able to see those two values? Can you go to table format? Next to that field variables option. Ah uh, no, leave it. Just run it. I I just want to see how the table looks. Reset your simulation and then run it. I just want to see how it looks. We will be getting That's errors. That's what uh, I was thinking. 
is this yeah. will this as pain uh, vary both the fields simultaneously yeah it will i guess that is not yes. issue it will i just want to see how they are representing the yeah area. but this uh, this is uh, not changing with the water content the okay. feed location is unchanged either you change the vinyl acetate or feed both it's not changing because the already water fraction is very low 0.02 yeah it is very low okay so this is the limiting point we can't go further yes this was a good problem okay then whatever is given to us that is already best Okay, this this problem is from okay it's from, from which reference this is given okay just just wait because we have many stages why it is taking time because we are wearing 2 to 55 2 to 55 two sets simultaneously that's why it's taking time this wait what happens okay it's taking longer than usual harshil did that take same amount of time for you to no i use the same design specification block oh you you use that part directly yeah that also works yeah it's a, it, it it gives a, a direct result yeah Other yeah, yeah I, agree. I agree i agree uh, can you stop this and just press on stop on the top if you don't want to wait if you want to wait it's fine for me Okay, can you stop it? Uh, ready to execute? Go to S3 option. Sensitivity three inputs. You just uh, uncheck S. Uncheck one of the variables. No, on top. Yes. Now run it. Yeah. Now reset and run it. Reset. I guess it won't. Yes, reset it and then it. I guess it won't take this amount of time. Let's see. Let's wait. I just want to see the results. That's why. Yeah, error. Okay, with error as expected. Now go to sensitivity results. We varied feed stage, and that was in our case ideal was fifteenth. So go below. Okay, we kept in problem statement it was 15th. And go below. Yeah, uh, it's not it's not changing much. So it's not going to be useful. Go below. Yeah, it's not going to be useful. Yeah, all these are with errors. So it's not going to be useful. Go big top. I just want to see errors are everywhere or no only. Okay, uh, 13, 14. Okay, these these are still fine. So we can change, but it won't affect actually. So it's fine. So whatever is given to us, that is, uh, we can assume it's ideal only. It's not ideal, but it's already practical situation only. Okay, uh, I want to try one more thing. Uh, can you go to main flow seat? Uh, okay, I suggest you. Uh, I suggest you first to save this simulation. Save this simulation and create a copy file of this. Compound no, this file. is six. This is six. No, this is five. Sorry. Yeah, this one. Save this and create a copy of this. Ah, uh, yes, it is saved. Yeah. Uh, close this and 
create a copy of this and open that copy file. So this the at least this file uh, remains with you. Sorry, uh, close the software. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now uh, wherever you have saved, uh, just Control C, Control V, so it will create a copy. The next week we will be solving that LHSW assignment problem. Most of you have faced that issue. Did you solve that correctly? No, sir. Okay, no one did that. Okay, so I will try to uh, we will try to solve that problem next week. LHSW kinetics of assignment eight, eight or nine. I don't remember. Eight. Okay. Okay, this copy file right. Hmm, copy. Okay, so open the flow sheet. Uh, remove. Okay, first open the flow sheet. Okay, remove hmm. this uh, vinyl acetate feed. I just want to see without vinyl acetate, uh, what are we getting? Delete that. Just delete that. Deactivate. Uh, deactivate will not work, I guess. Uh, see if it works, it's fine for me. Yeah. No, it's not. The option is showing there for active after deactivating, but I don't okay, know. Okay, okay, then it's fine. Then it's fine. And uh, deactivate this decanter. Oh, uh, you can keep it. It's fine. Decanter, you can keep. You can keep. You can keep. Okay, now run. Now reset your simulation and run. Sensitivity part is also uh, inactive, right? Yes. Okay, I just want to see what what are we getting with uh, without vinyl acetate. I just want to see that. Oh, results available. Go to results. Streams. Acetic acid. Acetic acid first one only. I just want to see mass flow, mass fraction, mass flow, mass flow. Just show me the value of mass flow. No, it's not run. Why is it showing this uh, number of vinyl acetate? It's showing there, right? Oh, it's, it's zero now. So why their VA stream has one? Just go to mass flow rate. Mass flow. Yeah, it is showing. Yeah, why is that so? Did you deactivate? This is uh, the same result from the before. Yeah, it's not changed. I guess you have to delete that. Can you do that? Just delete VH stream, delete this decanter, and decanter is also not required for now. Decanter and those output of decanters. Okay, now go to distillation. Yeah, now go to distillation and right frag. We need to change some input. Yeah, go to configuration. Just choose vapor liquid. Mm -hmm. This is the problem. Remove this three phase part if you can. Go to three phase option. Delete everything. Can you do one thing? Can you do one thing? Yes. Can you go to properties yes, and it yeah, okay, it worked, it worked. Okay. Uh, now uh, key component was selected. No, that's why. Yeah. Okay. Now uh, reset your simulation and run it. Reset and I just want to see what is what are we getting. I just want to see that. I have not tried this. Oh, results available without any errors. Go to streams. 
okay so yes, go to mass mass flow rate directly show me the mass flow rate values okay so in distillate we are getting both acetic acid and water are separated in both streams top and top as well as bottom so top is even worse there is 1611 and what is mole fraction here we can play with it but we won't do that right now uh, what is mole fraction 97 in top and 88 yeah this is not good if you see the mass flow rate values this is not good okay uh, can you show me reboiler duty in this case i will tell you from yes okay what is the value of reboiler duty in uh, kilowatt yes in kilowatt oh that 11, is 11 okay can you remember this number 11722 Okay, let let me. I will share my screen now. Just just give me a minute. I have to show you something. Just give me a minute. Okay. And here it is. Okay. So let's see what is happening. Uh, new. Just give me a minute. I am sharing a screen. Okay. So what was the value? Two one. Can you please tell me the value two one? Eleven thousand seven twenty two. Seven twenty two. Ah, in kilowatt units. One nine. Okay. Yes. Kilowatt. Okay, I'm sharing my screen now first. Okay. Ah, uh, I guess my screen is visible. So this was the or original problem that we solved. So in that case. the uh, red frag unit was having reboiler duty of 21833 kilowatt oh, it has increased 21833 kilowatt almost double and uh, decanter was releasing yeah decanter was releasing around minus 24 kilowatt okay but this is not Okay, here we are getting more amount of duty in this uh, in this distillation unit, where we are adding a third component. So this this is more expensive, but maybe we are doing this because we are not able to get the way we the way we checked, and we are not able to get uh, uh, maximum amount of uh, acetic acid from bottoms of the column. But this is actually very high value, almost two times reboiler duty. This is I don't know how is this feasible, but this is the way the way this this process is being done. Okay, so I I hope you understood this problem. Can anyone summarize this problem for me? What we did? Please, anyone? Yes, you only tell what we did. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we had a mixed stream of acetic acid water. Yes. Yeah, and we have to separate that stream. First yes. of all, we uh, add the third component that is vinyl acid. Yes. Yeah, and uh, up, uh, we fed that in the uh, distillation column. Yes, we had that in the distillation column. Fifteen stage and twelve stage. Yes. Yeah, and uh, after the uh, we uh, separate the top stream means uh, distillate liquids. Mm -hmm. That is containing so more of uh, vapor, no? No, that should be vapor, but we are choosing. We are we are having a total condenser. That so we are getting liquid. Because we need to feed that in that uh, decanter. 
that's why we choose the total condenser that is that is giving us a uh, completely liquid uh, understood okay and, uh, after that yeah yes, yes after that we use density separation using a decanter water yes yeah. okay so i have one i have two main more product is in the bottom stream main main problem main product is in bottom stream that is acetic acid additionally what we perform we perform sensitivity analysis we checked various variables like we changed the number of distillation columns that didn't work then we changed the number of uh, reflux ratio we changed the reflux ratio that also uh, didn't work for us then we additionally changed the feed flow locations for both vinyl acetate and mixture of acetic acid in acid and water but that also did not work in our case so we assume that this is the ideal case we can play with feed temperature and pressure but i i'm not sure if it will be very useful for us or not and anyway it was around 0 0.02 hertz right 0 0.02 mole fraction mole fraction or mole percent it was 0.0 from distillation part and just give me a minute it was 0. Point it was 0. 0.003 so we can't do anything so we are anyway at best okay so uh, i have some problem but uh, i we won't be able to complete that in our uh, required amount of time we have around 15 minutes left uh, i have this one additional problem we have i have two more problems one to separate hydrocarbons this distillation chain and one for this ammonia part but i guess we won't be able to complete it so let's do one thing uh, i will be taking i will be uh, what do we say i will be uh, showing you the pdf of, of that uh, previous year part so let's try to discuss uh, some things from there okay we won't be able to complete the problem in required amount of time that's why let's do this okay okay anyway you are having answers in front of you but i assume you answer me honestly so a rigorous two phase absorption process can be modeled using which block sep1 sep2 red track or dstw dstw is never going to do that rigorous and two phase so it should be red track only right we did it was not absorption uh, what we did right ah uh, yes hello uh, i can yes, see we... your screen can you share it again uh, is this visible? No, no. I cannot see your screen. Anyone it's else? Completely blank for it is completely it's blank visible. for me. Uh, okay, I will redo it. I'm sorry, I don't know why it's happening. Uh, is it visible now? I'll, I'll rejoin the meeting. I think it's a meet. It's a issue from my end. Uh, anyone else? Manish, are you able to? It is visible, yeah, it is visible now. Yes, I'm able to see. Okay, yeah, I guess. Yeah, is okay, so this is the first question. There is nothing in this. Okay, let's see the second problem. Figure one shows an absorber block. Figure two to six shows the input pallet. Upon completion of which the results as indicated in figure 7 are produced. So this is figure 1. This is input. This is some figure 2, figure 3, 4, 5, 6. And okay, we are just supposed to give some inputs and all. Okay. So uh, let's read out the problem. The absorption column has 10 stages and there is no pressure drop in the column. So 10 stages here and no pressure drop. The liquid input is inserted from the top of the column, whereas gas input is supplied from the bottom of the column. Is this obvious or not from absor for absorption application? This is obvious, right? Gas should be sent from bottom. The vapor 
uh, outlet is taken out from the top of the column, whereas liquid outlet is taken out from the bottom of the column. So this is the column B1 block S1, S2, gas from here. Uh, gas is out from here, liquid from top and liquid is out, outing from here. So there are some uh, questions that we are supposed to respond. Uh, the temperature input A in figure 2 is. So where can we check the temperature input? Here it's not given. Uh, here, uh, this is the S1 stream. This is S2 stream input. Uh, V1 block input, this input, and this. so what is the temperature of S1 stream? Where can we, uh, where can we see that? Is my screen visible or not? Yes, yes it is visible. Okay, oh, so yes, what is visible? visible yeah. It is 25 degrees. It will be 25. Okay, so the input A. What is input A in figure 2? Temperature in Celsius. Of S1. S1 stream. So it is 25 degrees Celsius. Right. From here you can see that S1's input temperature is 25 degree Celsius. Okay. Next question. Pressure input B in figure 2 is. So what is pressure input B? So pressure of this stream only. Right. So what is the pressure? It is 1.01325 bar, but in question, it is in atmosphere. So what's what should be the value for, for bar one, atmosphere? One, one, one. one. Yeah, it should one be one. Be, be careful. Yeah, in your exam, you will be you will be played with this. Like here, some unit is different, and uh, here the, the unit is different. So just be careful. Okay. Then molar mole flow input at E in figure two. So what is the mole flow input of E? Let's check in question what is E? E is N2. So what is the molar flow rate of N2 basically, right? No, sorry. In figure two, yeah, N2. Molar flow rate of N2 in stream S1. So what is the value of molar flow rate? What is the value? It is in front of you. 8.5. Yeah, that is 8.5. Our answer is correct. The temperature input at A in figure 3 is. Now let's move to figure 3. So what is figure 3 for C? Figure 3 is for S4 input, right? So what is the temperature input of S4 stream in Celsius? So we'll see from here. What is the value? 25. Yeah, same answer. 25 degree. Celsius. Yeah, it is correct. 25. The mole flow rate input at D in figure 3. So let's check what is D in figure 3. That is D, DEA. So what is the molar flow rate of DEA? Okay, sorry. Uh, let me know what is the value of DEA. 10. 10. Yeah, it is 10. Uh, where did that go? Yeah, here 10, right? Uh, mole flow input at E in figure 3. So what is E? E is N2. So same question, what is the molar flow rate of uh, N2? So tell me what is the answer? Zero. 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 Correct. So it is zero. The number of stages input at A in figure 4. First, what is figure 4? This is figure. This is figure 4. So what is the number of stages? Is there anyone? Is there anywhere mentioned? Number of stages? 10 stages. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. Yes, so the answer should be. Uh, what was the problem number? OK, it was 8 one. It was which was the number? Yeah, it is 10. Right? The reboiler 10. duty, the reboiler input at C is what is the reboiler? What kind of reboiler is there? Is it total parcel vapor, parcel vapor liquid or none? What should it be? Uh, here. OK, why none? Uh, because in absorber column, we do, do not need condenser and reboiler. Very good. So it's none. 
then question number 10 the valid phase is input at d in figure 4 so let's first go to figure 4 okay here figure 4 so what are the valid phases what should be the valid phases vapor liquids why vapor liquid because it's an absorption column because it's an absorption column it's an absorption column. We are absorbing something from gas using. Uh, we are, yeah. So we need vapor and liquid. I'm sorry. Uh, so it should be vapor liquid. Uh, it is this problem. Yeah, it is vapor liquid. Now, question number eleven. The stage input at A in Figure five is stage input A at Figure five. So let's first go to Figure five. Is the Figure five and stage input A. So S1. OK, what should be S1? Read the problem statement and let me know. What should be S1? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One. S1 is this one. So it, is, one. Uh, it should be one or ten. One, one. Wait, wait, wait. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, so I guess if it's not about solving the problem, then these all things that we are doing, it won't be useful in 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 terms of your exam. Then what is question number 12? The conventional the convention input at B in figure 5 might be OK. What should be B in figure 5? Yeah, this thing. OK, so we told that stage number 10. So here, what should it be on stage about stage? What it should be? It uh, should be on stage. It should on be on stage. stage. Don't have an option of below stage. Yeah, below stage won't be there. Yeah. I guess below stage option is not there. As yeah, far it as is not there. yeah, it is not there. OK, it's on stage and there is one more option of vapor. OK, can I see the input? OK, I don't know where vapor is given. Where can we add vapor? Here we can't add S4. vapor. S4 would be the vapor, right? S4. S4, wait. S4 would be the vapor from D. The D part would be from uh, plate top. And that would be vapor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. At which number of question we were there? Okay. Were I feel 12, yeah. 12. The convention input at B in figure 5. I'm just, just wait. B in figure 5. So this is figure 5. And B. so here there is only one input. Why are they saying two inputs? If we can't add phase here, right? And if we can add the phase, then S1 should be vapor phase, right? S, S, S4 should not be vapor. S1 should be vapor because vapor has tendency to go up. Yeah, S1 would be vapor and S4 would be liquid. But I, I, I don't know. We can't add vapor there, right? We only can add the on or above stage as far as I know. Yes, yes. The stage input at D in figure 5. One. It would be 1 because it is liquid from the top. Yeah, liquid from the top shield should be one. Okay, I'm not showing that uh, diagram again. Then um, I'm sorry, where are we? Question 14. Uh, question 14. Okay, the stage input at E in figure 5 is above stage. It will be above stage. E in figure 5. Sorry, e. e is S3. S3. E is S3. So, what should it be? It should be vapor. Can you see the diagram? Can you see the diagram? The block yes. diagram? S3. It, 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 it is liquid. S3 is liquid and which stage? 10th yeah. stage. Uh, yeah. After 10th stage, right? Yeah. So I am sorry. Can anyone just please keep the track of 
number 14th okay so it should be 10 and the phase input at f in figure 5 is uh, this is so bad phase input at figure f f is liquid phase right right s3 was yeah. liquid phase right yeah, yeah s3 is liquid yes yes correct yeah i'm sorry just a minute Mm, what was the number? Sorry, 16th. No, 15th. Okay, so it's liquid, correct? The phase input at G in figure 5. So let's first see what is G. G is this. G is for H2 stream. Okay, so what is the phase of H2 stream? H2 stream is vapor. Um, Where did it that go? Okay, what was the number? Sorry, 16. Okay. Vapor. Yeah, it's vapor, correct. Question number 17. The stage at input edge. So it will be for that uh, this stream only. So what is the input? It is from stage number one, right? This input. Yeah, stage one. Stage one S2 is yeah. from stage one. And correct. You know. One, no, yeah, one, 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 top one. is be ten. careful. Top is one and ten. bottom is ten. Top is one. So it is H two, right? Yeah, in S two. Yeah, so it will be one. It will be one. one. Correct. Yes. Okay, then um, I guess we are left with this pressure drop part only. These are very easy questions, right? Compared to your assignments. Our assignments are very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, the stage one pressure at input A. So what is the stage one pressure? From where can we see the stage one pressure? From where can we see the stage one pressure? You can see by S2, the pressure at which S2 is coming out. So S2 is this stream. Okay. Is so top, top, top stream. So what is the value of S2 stream? It's 1 ATM. 1.01325 bar and what is the input what are the units in input oh it's not given okay no here it is given here it is given okay i'm sorry here it is given yeah it is in atmosphere so it should be one atmosphere right yes yes so these are very easy questions and you are solving something very difficult <laughs> Uh, can we get can we get the two case studies that you were going to discuss so that we can solve and bring it for the next week? No, let's do it together. Then I will have to find something new again to teach. <laughs> okay, okay. Because what is going to happen? Uh, I am I am not actually available on. Uh, what is the date? Fifteenth. So I guess uh -huh. I'm going to prepone that class on 11th, 10 or 11. So I guess okay. next week we'll be meeting two times, one time on 8 and if they agree on my request, then we will be meeting on 11th. Okay, okay. And I have, I have, I have added one request of extra session on 18th for one hour. One hour for, I will just give, I will just solve these kind of um, uh, MCQ problems that is going to be useful for you in uh, in your exam, assuming that it is only based on multiple choice questions. Okay, yeah, if yeah. by if by last yes, session yes. we are uh, yes, please save us. Uh, what? Sorry, sorry, I forgot. Sorry. Uh, if if you are not going to get uh, MCQ, I will we will be solving. I will be preparing some MCQs for your last one hour session. So if assuming that your exam will be only based on multiple choice questions, not on solving the problems. And uh, whatever I have decided to cover till in upcoming last two sessions, if I'm not able to complete everything, then I will I will share problem statements with you. So. You can solve them and you can contact me if you if you are not able to 
solve or if you are having some queries but i will for next week's lecture i will try to uh, complete that lhsw model that most of you are facing the issue let me solve it can any one of you uh, share the file with me so i don't have to recreate the file because i assume that most of you are only facing issues with uh, adding the constants right i have shared the file with you okay uh, okay it is out of my notice i will recheck okay i will mail it to you again if you want okay yeah please do it uh, so i will i will try to solve that and i will try to find the constant the way i have said that uh, pdf with you guys at least to those who ask me how to do it so we'll do that next week we'll do that and we will uh, yes asudos Actually, I was able to solve the problem. It is, I think, uh, it has. We have to select like few things. I think. Did you get uh, your answer correct or not? Yes, yes, I got correct. So, can you mail me your file? I can cross check with my concept of uh, because most of you are facing how to add that constant, how to calculate that constant value. So, yeah. If you can share it with me, so I can show everyone how to calculate that. I just don't okay. want to create that file again. Okay, sure. That's fine. You know my email ID, or should I? Okay, I will show it to you. I guess you have me. You have sent me an email, I guess earlier. Yeah, yeah. I, I know you remember. Okay. So just share that file with me. I will. I will. We will do that next week. And I have two more problems. One on distillation column, uh, five distillation columns in series, and one in ammonia production with this LHSW part. Okay. So uh, let's meet next week on. Okay, there was one problem most of you were facing in one class problem where mass balance error was there, right? Uh, I forgot that problem statement. I guess Vakas at least send it. Um, send it email to me. I it was case study one knife one or three. I think. I don't I don't remember that number earlier. You solved that with me, so it is that issue only. I don't know uh, what is the problem, but I am also facing the same issue. Ah, uh, has anyone solved this week's lecture? Uh, the case study because I am facing error in this case study as well. This yeah, I, I I checked your email, but uh, when I will get the time, I will get back to you. Okay, okay. Yeah, even I am getting many issues. Because the error is something very unique. It's so showing that the component has been not been defined. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe that is. Uh, yeah. maybe 